The six foot eight, nearly 300 pound monster, Jacob Dearden, takes on Gil Rogers in our next matchup of our tournament to crown a new and first ever DWF heavyweight champion. Gil Rogers, a solid fan favorite here already in the DWF. He is no stranger to Kansas City wrestling as Dearden backs him up into the corner. Roscoe Leach holding on to that leg, not letting Gil Rogers out of that corner. Not only does Gil Rogers have to contend with the power of Jake Dearden. He has to contend with that scoundrel. <clears throat> excuse me, with that scoundrel Roscoe Leach on the outside as Gil applies a side headlock to the big man. Dearden shoots Rogers off into the ropes, and there again, Roscoe Leach trying to trip up Gil Rogers. What's Rogers up to here? You got that right, Gil. You are essentially in a handicap man handicap match. Gil Rogers asking for the help of WWE Hall of Famer and our special guest this evening, the Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. And it looks like it looks like Hart's gonna take him up on that offer. And now Gil Rogers has a manager to counteract Roscoe Leach. And if you were ever going to have a manager, the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, might just be the best one. As action back into the ring, Gil Rogers firing off, sends the big man, oh, reversal by Jake Dearden. Dearden charges forward, Gil ducks the clothesline, and a big clothesline sends Jake Dearden up and over the top rope. Gil Rogers after on the outside, Jake Dearden. Right into the apron goes the face of Jake Dearden, courtesy of Gil Rogers. Rogers firing off with a knife edge chop to the chest of Dearden. And again, face first goes Dearden into the apron of our ring here. Referee's going to want to get control of this match as a, a huge shot to the gut by Jake Dearden. Ends the momentum of Gil Rogers, and now the small of the back rammed right to the edge of the ring. The tide is already turned here in the favor of Jake Dearden, and right into the post goes the spine of Gil Rogers, courtesy of Jake Dearden. Dearden is a big, mean, nasty man, and you do not want to make him angry. Dearden like a lion stalking his prey and Gil Rogers as he brings Rogers back up to his feet. And a big forearm right across the back sends Rogers right back down to the canvas. And a big clubbing forearm right across the chest. As you can see the look of agony across the face of Gil Rogers. 
Believe it or not, in all of the matches Gil Rogers has fought and wrestled in in Kansas City, and there have been a lot of them, he has never won a match here in Kansas City. Which is shocking because Gil Rogers is an extremely talented and competent wrestler. Front face lock by Jake Dearden. Looks like he might be going for a suplex. Up and over, big suplex by Dearden. Just drives Gil Rogers right into the mat. Cover only a good for a one count, uh, or I'm sorry, two count, as Gil Rogers is able to kick out. Rogers in a world of hurt right now as Dearden applies a rear chin lock and just wrenches away at that head of Gil Rogers. Rogers back up to the vertical base, fires off a shot, elbow shot to the gut, breaks the headlock there. Big back body drop by Dearden sends Gil Rogers back to the canvas. Roscoe Leach on the outside talking smack to the downed Rogers is now the big size 18 boot across the throat of Gil Rogers, courtesy of Jake Dearden. Dearden showing no respect to WWE Hall of Famer Jimmy Hart on the outside as Rogers now fires off to the breadbasket of Jake Dearden. And a big forearm shot to the chin. Make that two of Jake Dearden, courtesy of Gil Rogers. Rogers with an inside cradle. We've got it. One, two, and no. Dearden able to kick out at the last second. Dearden backs up and a big boot. That heel right to the collarbone. It didn't quite catch his face, but it caught his collarbone. And I think he may have knocked Gil Rogers completely out. No, we do have movement out of Rogers. That was a devastating boot to the collarbone. Maybe a little bit of the chin. Yeah, looks like Rogers is clutching at his chin. He's lucky he didn't get knocked out by uh, Jake Dearden. Dearden now in the corner, again, stalking Gil Rogers as Rogers makes his way back up to his feet. What does Dearden have in store? A big clothesline, but Deer uh, Rogers ducks and fires off a series of blows to the jaw of Jake Dearden, trying to get the big man down to his knee or e even down to his back as a charge forward and a big no monkey flip attempt by Gil Rogers, but Rogers is set right on the front rope, blocked shot by Rogers as he fires back in retaliation, make that two. A shove off by Rogers, and now from the middle rope, no, we had a change of heart. And a head scissors by Gil Rogers. Rogers from the middle rope, big elbow finds its mark to the crown of the head, and a drop kick still is yet to get Dearden to his feet, or off his feet, as Dearden stag staggers back to the corner. Charge forward, no, over, up and over. Block of the shot by Rogers. Rogers now up to the top rope, yes. And a big cross body block finally gets the big man off his feet for a three, no, two count. That was very close to a three count from that cross body off the top rope. Rogers into the ropes and a high knee lift. Finds its mark and now <laughs> Roscoe Leach up on the ring apron, distracting Gil Rogers. And a big shot sends Roscoe Leach crashing down to the floor. And what's Jimmy Hart? Jimmy Hart with that megaphone right to the stomach of Gil Rogers. Gil, I'm sorry, not Gil Rogers, Roscoe Leach. My apologies as a big spear levels the distracted Gil Rogers. We got a hook of the leg and a cover two and three. Jake Dearden with a huge spear and a huge win to advance to the semifinals of Block B here at our championship tournament to crown our first ever DWF champion. It was that outside distraction and outside shenanigans that distracted Gil Rogers and allowed 
Jake Dearden to recoup and hit that spear for the one, two, three, and has, he now advances on to face the infamous Devin Thomas in our semifinal block B matchup. Crowd showing love to Gil Rogers and Jimmy Hart here in Overland Park, Kansas at All Out War. 